Welcome back. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to her. She, she's a Minnesota native hitting it, uh, hitting it big in the world, as they say, in the world of country music. Now fans on the new show Monarch right here on the old FOX are hearing Caitlin Smith every week. You know, I love a good theme song. Look at this. That's Kaylin singing the card you gamble. That's the main theme from the show. Give it up for Kaylin Smith, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. How? Okay, so how does I do? I have a I, have, I love a good theme song. I love me good too. opening credit. I'm old school. I hate this era of like the two second theme song. Yeah. Anyway. How does something like that get to you, like yeah. a project like that? Yeah, well, uh, I'm, I'm signed to a record label called Monument Records. Okay. And the, the co-president of the label, uh, Jason Owens, he also has like his hand in TV and film. And so Bing. he's okay. also a producer on the show. And so there was a connection there with the label, which is great. Thank got you, it, got <laughs> it. You are originally, and we love, you know, you. You, we love a good Minnesota connection, and you are from Cannon Fall. Oh, we do, yeah. you know, we love yeah. a good. <laughs> I always joke if people drove through Minnesota, we'll claim them. But yeah. you, how long did you spend in Cannon Falls? Was it your childhood or my yeah. old childhood until I graduated high school? Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. then we can claim yeah. you. Yeah, and then I, mean, I lived yeah. in the Twin Cities for a few years, and then and then moved to Nashville. Did you always? Because you know, like I always say, I loved to find origins of people's dreams because I always wanted to do this. I just told the story of doing the Tonight Show on a rock. Did you always want to be a singer? Always. I started singing in church super young and then started singing along little county fairs and things like that around Minnesota. And I just, I fell in love with doing it. Um, when I was in middle school, I put together like a little band with like my friends and my brother. What was, was your band called? Well, it was called U-Turn. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh yeah. I love it. And you know, I'd like cold call like coffee shops and venues like, fuck my band. <laughs> Did you? Yes, and like started writing original songs. And like, so as a kid, as a middle schooler, like, I just was so in love with it. Did you, okay, let me ask you, because I always, when I was young, I couldn't wrap my brain around my friends that didn't know what they wanted to do. I was like, how do you not, now yeah. I realize I'm, I was very lucky. Did you feel that way? Like you maybe didn't know how you were gonna do yeah. it, but you always knew what you were gonna do? I always knew. There was like no plan B for me. Like this yes. is the only option. Yeah. yeah. And then you went to Nashville, and then what was, take me to that first time out because we'll never experience this when you hear your song a song on the radio what was that like for someone that's dreamed about it in cannon falls what was that like hearing and even maybe man. now seeing your name on the digital display man it's a little it's a little bit of an out of body experience like this thing that you've dreamed of and thought of for so many years like to actually like have that moment you're like wait is this a dream is this reality like it's just like that's crazy, me that's me and like you know i've i started off just writing songs for other people so i've heard my songs on the radio which was special and cool. And I knew, oh, this is paying yeah. the bills, this is good. But then when it's my own song and seeing my own name, like that's a whole nother like, whoa. Paying the bills, because let Thanks me just, God. I just got to ask a real honest question. Because you know, I always hear that Dolly, who you wrote for, and I have a question about that. But you always hear that music writing is where it's at. Is that true? Like, if you own the, if you write the songs, that's you where it's at. If you write the songs and they're on the radio, that's where it's oh, at. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. the. That's the thing. Got it. You can write the songs and it go on like the last track of the record. No one cares. No one cares. Okay, you wrote <laughs> songs for Kenny Rogers and Dolly, Garth Brooks, Miley Cyrus. How does, okay, so you mentioned, we figured you have an agent. Let me zero in on Dolly. Take me to that day when you get the call that Dolly, you're working with Dolly. Yeah, that's insane. I, I mean, still can't believe Everybody it, else like, on that list is great, like, but let's every, just. But also that's like for me too. That's like yeah. the one. Um, I, it was April Fool's Day when I found out, which was pretty hilarious. I was like, this is, if this is a joke, I'm moving back home. This yeah. is like, this is not. Uh, but I had written a song um, with one of my mentors, Don Schlitz, down in Nashville for Kenny Rogers. Kenny had given him this song title, You Can't Make Old Friends. 
And so we, we emailed it. It's a great, That's a title. great title. So we wrote it, we emailed it to Kenny Rogers, and we didn't hear back for like months and months. And we we're like, oh, I guess he didn't like it. Oh, well. And then, you know, just music industry takes a long time. So uh, probably a year later, um, I'm sitting down having breakfast with my publisher who does all my song stuff. And um, he's like, did you hear about the Kenny song? And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, he recorded it, but to celebrate. 30 years since Island in the Stream being released, he called up his old, old duet buddy, called up Dolly Parton to sing, and I was like, And that is your song. And that is my song. Oh That's my goodness. Crazy. Hey, can we keep it for the shortest? We're going to be back. We'll be back with Caitlin. Stay right there. Back in a moment. Back in a moment. I have one more question. We have a short segment next, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is usually the world's shortest segment. But I, we got rid of it because I wanted to spend one more minute with Caitlin, Caitlin, quite literally. Okay, you're on the show tomorrow, right? You're acting. Yes. You're on Monarch tomorrow. My acting debut. So exciting. <laughs> yes. Um, when, okay, now I just want to end with a compliment. Rolling Stone named you one of ten artists that you should know. Bravo on that one. Thank you. And then you're on... You're touring the UK in a few weeks, right? How yes. You, how are you feeling about the tour? I am so excited. My London show is like sold out, which is like blowing my mind. So oh yeah, my God. I'm pretty pumped. First time headlining over there, and it's just gonna be a blast. I'm gonna have tea every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, will you please come back? You, Absolutely. The whole crew, we all love you. Yeah. Chris came over here. Kendall, yeah. Anytime you're back here, please come here. Done. Done. done, done Kaylin done. Smith, everybody. Be sure to follow Kaylin on Instagram, Kaylin oh Smith, gosh. or her website, KaylinSmith.com. We'll be right back. Back in a moment everyone thank you so much oh my god what what a joy